This is video 28.3. We will be studying the wave nature of matter. The question. An electron is accelerated through a potential difference of 2000 volts. And as indicated in the diagram below, an electron with a negative charge will go from an area of lower potential to higher potential. We'd like to know what is the wavelength of the accelerated electron? And what would happen if the electron passes through a thin slit? First, we'll calculate the energy of the acceler accelerated electron. After we know this, we can find the momentum and then use the de Broglie relationship to solve for the wavelength. So the energy is 2,000 electron volts, because recall that one electron volt is the amount of energy, kinetic energy an electron will have after being accelerated from zero to one volts. So if we go from zero to 2,000 volts, the energy is 2,000 electron volts. We'd like to convert this to joules, so we multiply by the conversion factor. which gives us, gives us our energy in joules. Now let's calculate the momentum. Because the velocity is sufficiently small, we can use the normal non-relativistic formula for the kinetic energy. Sometimes expressed as 1 half mv squared, it can also be expressed as p squared over 2m using the fact that p the momentum is equal to mv. If we rearrange this, we have an expression for p. Here m sub e is the mass of the electron, and e is its kinetic energy. If we plug in the values, we obtain our result for the momentum. Now let's calculate the wavelength of the electron. The formula relating momentum to wavelength in Planck's constant is this expression. And it was discovered at the beginning of the 20th century that this expression can also describe the relationship between the momentum and the wavelength of matter. That's after they discovered that matter, in fact, does have a wavelength. So we can solve for the wavelength lambda and plug in Planck's constant and the momentum which we just found. This gives us our wavelength for the electron, 2.75 times 10 to the negative 11 meters. Notice that this is a shorter wavelength than the photons that we had been working with previously. And if you have larger and larger objects, the wavelength tends to be much smaller as the momentum increases. Now what happens if the electron is passed through a thin slit? Well, recall that when photons or light is passed through a thin slit, a slit that's on the order of the size of the wavelength of the photon that a diffraction pattern would be produced on a screen placed behind the slit. Well, the exact same thing will happen with electrons if the slit is small enough around the size of the wavelength of the electron. And this further confirms the wave-particle duality which we see in nature. And that concludes video 28.3. Check out PhysicsX on the app stores. This revolutionary physics app for smartphones and tablets contains over 100 videos and 500 multiple choice questions designed by education experts. It's been proven to improve scores for intro college physics, AP physics, MCAT physics, and more. Just look for the blue icon.